What's up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Still early morning out at the crib. I'm about to hook up the trailer. Move it, actually unload this scrap. This is counterproductive, but it's necessary because I'm not gonna go to the scrap yard with just this. I'm gonna unload this scrap into one of these trash cans. And then I'm gonna hook up the trailer, bring it into the street, unhook it, back this Suburban into here and unload that cabinet. I could have done all this yesterday, but I didn't have the right trailer hitch for the truck. So it's just kind of like, I was smoked on that. But uh, yeah, just a process here. And then we're gonna head out to Dennisville and do a, uh, a foreclosure clean out. So trash out. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully we can get it all done. If not, maybe we'll have to go back it's tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. But uh, either way, we're out here, living it, living the dream. We arrived at the property here. This is how sick the driveway is rolling in. Bumpy that boy's bumpy. Real feel out today? 40 degrees. Perfect work conditions after the dream. What's the claim? Um, should I back the trailer up right here? Literally? Yeah. Kind of, right? Can you? Yeah. All right. Best idea, right? I guess so. <laughs> What's wrong with my face, right? <laughs> That's a brutal life. <laughs> are we going? <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we are. <laughs> at this foreclosure life um i just wanted to show you guys what we got going on here uh so this is house and garage and we got the job for 800 just to clean out no no clean up i don't know what he calls it it's like a specific term when you're supposed to clean the house but i've never done it so i don't even know what it means i literally don't even sweep the house and yeah i got sweatpants on because i left my jeans at home but what we got to do right now is um, <laughs> just go inside and take pictures of everything. <laughs> so they give you a lockbox code. The bank will put a new lock on it so that the previous owners don't come in and start taking shit. But really, you just take pictures of everything. You can do it on your iPhone. I used to do it on the real camera, but, you know, the risk, or I mean the uh, reward versus of good quality pictures versus how long it takes to upload them and send them, not worth your time because the bank doesn't care about that. They'll send someone in if they want high quality pictures and just, you know, Matt crown that shit. For the <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, get those high quality pics on your iPhone. There's a lot of trash in here, boys. So this is like, um, what they mean by like trash is like all this stuff outside too, which sometimes I was like, dude, there's so much shit outside. It's like, more overwhelming than the inside of the house, but he was like, well, dude, you put that in the bed, so, you know, it is what it is. So, like, all this stuff, to an extent, too, you know, like, well, this cooler is probably worth, like, 20 bucks, depending on how dirty it is, because it's an eagle cooler. So, like, all this trash, everything here, that shed, and, you know, the pool's a separate job. But let me get this shot.
Why is there so much stuff? <laughs> All right, let's just get this popping. Investigating the thing that looks like the uh, blob from the Creep Show movie. <laughs> what is it, dude? It is a slug, dude. No, it's not. No, it's an egg. That's an egg. <laughs> what kind of an egg are we talking here, dude? Um, oh, it's dried out, dude. Stop on that good now. Hold on. Stop it, dude. That's not even funny. Let me see it. Huh? Too late now. What is this? Love powder? All right, I came up with an idea. Are you into it? I don't know what that idea is yet. Try and find 10 items each that are keep life or sell life. And then we'll see who can find the best stuff. Okay. What's your first item? My you first? just put it down over there. No, that's not fair. How not? Because. Because why? Uh, well, yeah, it's something that you think you could make money off of, or something that you would use or keep. I put that hat was yours, even though that thing's a piece of shit. I know. I'm just gonna wash it and wear it. What is this? I don't really know, but eagle wings. Angel wings. Are you an angel? Maybe. You can put that on your booty, though. <laughs> all right this is what we're working with this is almost the whole house so far big ass tv brutal scrap this rose either keep life or goodwill or sell and then we got the trailer filled up almost to max not max almost to the first line and then I built somewhat of this area to make it go higher. All right, we're getting some of the scrap. We're trying to just totally clean out the house so then we can move the trailer and everything over to there. So we unhook this we, to go to Wawa, obviously, but left it on hook so we can fill up all the keep life and the scrap in here and then from there we just continue Do you feel privileged to be allowed to do this? I so privileged. <laughs> this is just... I gotta do a rebuttal video. It's just wrong. I can 
try to unscrew it. Oh, I thought they opened like, yeah. like the other ones. At first I thought that too. But I'm gonna get caught, that's the thing that you were saying. Go put the gloves on. Should I just throw it out the door and I'm just deal with it? There's gonna be glass everywhere. Just lift it out the door, slide it out the door. All right, so the house is totally cleaned out. Nothing left. Porch, spotless. Except for this piece. All right, moving into the garage. This is the heavy garage claim. Like, there is a ton of stuff in here. It's unrealistic sometimes to even deal with this much stuff. But it has to be done. <laughs> it's just not right. Does he not want it or does he want it? <laughs> I think he wants it. I feel like he can bring it to himself. Do you get what I'm saying? Like with that little stinger. He doesn't have a stinger. Get rid of that? It's just antenna. All right, we're trying to get all this sorted out, but this is a really, really heavy job to do in one day. Where's this bug? Right there. All right, we're trying to figure out what this bug is. It looks like he's just creeping, and there's a lot of them, hundreds. Does anyone know what it is? What are you claiming it is? I think it's an alien. <laughs> Dead ass. You are. No, I think they're aliens. I don't know if you want these wires. <laughs> this is so gnarly. So this one doesn't get a dock? There's no dock or any access at all. It's <laughs> nice. This what is are what they <laughs> doing over there? They got nice properties over there. <laughs> right on the water. What about this property? Hmm. It's nice. Could be nice with like $400,000. I just said this you could have a nice property you're here for a half a million dollars now you look you feel like you're in like vermont out here though yeah. huh but i bet it's buggy <laughs> <laughs> he is a construction god is this crazy right now This guy's construction god. We didn't know go. we didn't do a point walk today. Nope. He doesn't need a... I know why. Are they praying mano now? I don't know. They might be. Oh, well. Wow. Look at this one over here. Oh, what the... Big deal. 
Wait, you have to get rid of that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Turn away from the TV wait, and the wait, pool wait, wait. over that board here. What? Is she expecting you to get that? What? The TV and the pool are back No, here. that's staying. The shed looks like shit, dude. When you pull up, I gotta get rid of it. with this on top, it's nice. I did it like this on purpose. Wait, is that all metal inside the shed? No, there is one. Alright, we got everything in the garage loaded, the house loaded. This is one big load. We're using the pull tarp that used to be on that pool. And it's way too big, so I'm just cutting it down. Got a fresh razor blade from the green light. That's fine. Okay. Alright, this is the end of the day. Final load. Pool tarped. That little piece right there has come with us, but we can't dump this until Monday morning. So it's just filled up to the brim. It's Saturday night, it's almost 6, so we've been here since like, I want to say 8.30. So it's been a full day, but we're taking these two last trash cans out to the road. This is the easiest way we know how. So, if they start to get a little bumpy, I might have to get on the front with them, but we're done for the day here. The dream is continuing for sure. One gold shot of the clouds. They almost look fake in the sun going down over the lake over there. Super majestic. What's your claim? I don't have one. Claimless one. Gnarly this road is. Wait, 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 there's a giant hole. Oh my well, God. what side? In front of us, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just go. Film this. No, we'll just go slow. Oh, okay. Do you usually take your trash out like this? <laughs> no. Dude, we're filled to the brim with keep life and scrap. So, this is how we got to take the trash. There's really no other way. It's right there, though, dude. Almost there. Hopefully, if they fall off, I just got it on film because that would be too funny. It's weird because, like, in a way, that rod's holding the trash can because it's holding that piece of cardboard. Yeah. Isn't that weird how that worked? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> if the white one goes, we're <laughs> fucked. That thing has so much shit in it. If the brown boy goes, or the blue boy, whatever that thing is, we're good. I'm just gonna have to push it because it's gonna get bumpy right in here. It's it literally that off. piece of cardboard that's holding it. How crazy is that? Pretty much right here. I'm about to just stop. Yeah, I would just stop. Made it. Made it to the road, boys. Ending the day off with a Wawa Dream milkshake. Are you getting the big one? Should we share the big one or just get one each? Just get one each. Madame Laborski. Your salmon's fine, right, Jake? Yeah, so good. Why, dude? Gotta get that sweet potato with the bite, too. Oh, sweet potatoes are a little cold. Why? <laughs> Can you put anything on the sweet potatoes? Count Olaf. Tiny, tiny little Count Olaf came to but dinner. Not. Over here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Back at the house. Getting ready for bed tonight. Looking at my subscribers. I think I got like 30 since yesterday, which is epic. 
by the time you guys watch this video it'll have more probably but just got because it's like three days behind just got um this barnyard barnyard bob's barn sale video out it's one of my favorites one of my longest videos and i didn't want to cut anything because i thought the character was so classic that he deserved the full respect of all his glory but uh we were claiming a challenge today that we were going to find 10 items each at the foreclosure that we did i think we found close to 10 each either way we're going to tomorrow since it's late it's 9 30 already we're going to collect the items and the whole car is still filled with keep life and scrap so it's hard to get to some of the items right now we're going to collect them up lay them out and see what we got so stay tuned for the next video if you want to see that claim but um let's put this on here. sometimes it's hard to tell if i'm in focus because this camera doesn't have the flip screen like the other one i had does did doesn't have it anymore but um yeah so today was a classic day we got the whole job done i still have to send the pictures didn't do that yet but uh I could probably do it right now, actually, but either way, really felt awesome today that my parents and my sister came out to the job and saw it because I think that's the first time they ever saw one of the foreclosures in real life other than on just on a video, and it made me feel really good that my parents care and respect me enough and care about what I do to actually take the time out of their day to come there and life's all about family really and the people that you love so it made me feel really good even though yeah it just made me feel awesome and obviously i feel great about having sam and jay with me all the time uh it's been a great month a great l l last couple months so you know in life it sometimes feels like it's hard, but you got to just think about what you got. But uh, I was thinking also, too, like what I was saying before yesterday, that when you really feel like it's your own, even though it's hard to try to create a business and try to create income on your own, it's almost impossible the way they've made it with regulations and you have to get this and that and getting work and actually making money and getting paid it's all really hard but when you work for yourself you feel the full you fully feel like you're embracing it the whole deal because if you're doing every step of the job you know you're involved in each and every part so like I had to make sure that everything for the whole job is relies on yourself so it's like you're totally invested in every aspect of the entire job which is a good feeling and it's it's good to be able to control it too because like you know you have no control when you're just working for a boss or like for a corporation you have no control over anything you just do what you're told and people do like the comfort of that but it doesn't allow you to grow as a human being the same way I don't think. I mean, I could be wrong. Some people could feel differently about that, but this is my opinion. But, um, just feeling truly blessed and feeling awesome. We got Arlo here. He's eating his dinner. And we should have some cool stuff to do tomorrow. Sammy J was claiming a thrift store down the street that we almost checked out the other day. So, stay tuned for some more epic videos. And we're out of here for the night, though. The dream continues, though, every day. You for the boys. What's the claim? Good night. <laughs> All right, good night, everyone. Peace. See you in the morning.